Ram wheeled arrow, like so many other cars from the 2021 diecast line, including the car I took a look at yesterday, Hot Rod Luis Nash, was cancelled at the end of 2019 alongside the rest of Sweet Tea's band. Aside from Sweet Tea herself, who made it into a two-pack that was, you know, like a total scam of a two-pack, but I've made enough jokes about that in the past year. It's so great, much like with Hot Rod Luis, to finally see Sweet Tea's band released. Everybody loves pities, and I especially love these pities. The Uncle Topolino band are some of my favorite Cars Diecast releases ever, so it's so cool to get some more uh, pity musicians. And another really cool thing about Pam here is that she, I believe it's a she, is the first ever Cars Diecast to include a drum set, as we never got a release of the drummer from Heavy Metal Mater, unfortunately. Pam is the first one. Now, I wasn't able, or I haven't been able, to find Robert Jam Jones yet, the um, other member of the band who's currently out with the guitar and the amplifier. I really hope to find him soon. He's another new release of uh, 2021 that's another personal favorite of mine. So for now, I guess the band is just going to be Sweet Tea and Pam until I find Robert and the third member with the slide guitar is released. But still, I'm so excited to open up Pam here. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pam Wheeled Arrow, so let's get started. Of course we have some very nice artwork of Pam here, as well as the metal, new for 2021, and choking hazard uh, warning labels and all that. I think this might be the first time I've seen the choking hazard logo on a uh, 2021 car. I think it might have been on the Race Start Luigi though. Moving on to the back, you could see uh, we actually have less cars shown on the back than normal just because of the uh, warning being written in some other languages. But we do have, as seen in Cars 3, Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen, Trainer Cruz, Jimmy Cables, Heyday, not Heyday, I keep saying Heyday, Hot Rod Luis Nash, it keeps throwing me off because they both start with H's, and Pam Wheeldero, of course, complete with the drum kit. Just such a cool release. So glad to have that drum kit. So let's get Pam out of the package here. All right. Let's see here, we've got the die cast itself. Then we have the three pieces of the drum here. Got two like drum parts and then the cymbals. This is such a cool concept to include the whole drum set with a die cast. It's, it's so cool. So taking a look at Pam herself, probably the only thing I don't like about this car is just how large the forks are compared to in the movie, they're definitely a bit thinner there. Um, the drumsticks are way bigger as well. And I don't really like how high up they are, but you know, it's so that Pam can reach the actual drums, which hopefully won't fall over that much. You got a very nice facial expression there, a very cute grin. Moving on to the side, it's basically blank, although we do have this on the back. I'm not quite sure what it is, but this just made me realize something. Now, I didn't notice this until now, but Pam is actually the same exact mold as Double Clutch Daily here from the 2021 Dock and Double Clutch Daily 2-pack. I didn't realize that. They just have different forks and different things on the forks, of course. But very interesting. Yeah, I didn't realize these guys were the same mold. Uh, yeah, they seem like they're the exact same mold. Very interesting. Didn't realize that until just now. Moving on to the back, you can see it is fully... Uh, painted in black down there moving on to the other side same exact thing as this side and there is Pam's base and of course we have the very cool looking drum set of course the uh, drum on the side here and the cymbal are both at an angle so that Pam um, can reach them such a cool concept like I said earlier and it looks so great when it's all together then of course we have the large drum here i believe the bass drum uh of course sitting on the ground sweet t and the legends there written on the front with a giant letter t and i really like this i didn't know if they were going to include this and if so how but they have the foot pedal there i am so surprised and so happy they have the the foot pedal how does that work you know on an actual drum like this in real life you put your your foot there and, it, and then this part hits the drum, of course, and it makes a sound. But how would this work? Do you have your wheel there? Do you have to lower your fork to there? I guess it's supposed to be the wheel. Maybe it's like the bottom part here touches it. I just think it's so funny that they included that. I really didn't expect that, but that's such 
a nice additional touch. Yeah, definitely very cool accessories. Some of the coolest Cars diecast accessories that I've seen in a while. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Pam here is definitely a highlight of 2021 for me, and I'm sure several others, alongside the rest of the pity band. Like I said, really hope I find Robert Jam Jones soon, because I really like him. And the third member of the band should be releasing soon, so I can't wait for him. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.